Inside this box is a complete first edition Metal Raider set. But there's something different about these cards. They're all faded. What's up guys, we're back with another collection video. We will be opening this box and showing the entire faded first edition Metal Raider set that I purchased, but first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed. Let me know your favorite faded card from this collection. All right, let's get this thing open and let's reveal the collection. I have unpacked the collection and we have a few bonus cards inside. So we have a birthday Pikachu that looks like the 25th anniversary version. We got a Chaos Rider Gustav first edition, Butterfly Dagger Elma first edition, Fairy Meteor Crush. We got Dark Elf first edition, a couple of those, Amoeba, more Dark Elf, a last turn. That's pretty nice first edition, Limited Removal, Horn of Heaven. And then we have some Enemy of Justice packs and a Ancient Millennium. Is it called Ancient Millennium? And uh, these are booster packs. We're going to open these up, guys. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Are these Korean, maybe? Yeah, wait, wait. No, these aren't Korean. No, these are not Korean. These are uh, Japanese. Okay, we got it. Uh, I thought there was a pull tab up here. Okay, maybe there is, and I just couldn't see it. All right, so we ripped it. Let's get these out of here, because the Korean usually has more circle-y writing, is what I always remember from what people told me. And this doesn't appear to have that. So I think this is OCG. Yeah, Japanese. I was right. Look, I can discern between the two now, guys. Good job. Good job, Ruxin. Oh, it's a super rare. Nice. We got a Cyber Phoenix super rare and a something of destruction or something like that. I can't remember. Very nice. I don't think that's guaranteed. So that's actually pretty cool. A Cyber Phoenix. Very cool card. All right. That's a nice start to our video. We have another one. Do, I guess they have ultimate rares, like, right? Or do they? Maybe. I mean, you never know with the OCG. They might have like a ghost rare in here for all I know or something crazy. They usually have multiple other rarities, which is always really fun. So here we have the uh, like Captain Tenacious or something. I think his name is. That's a win. Oh, we just Rux and Special bypass three cards. They're very, very sticky, like frictiony. They just stick together. Okay, so we got a hero. I need a hero. Okay, our final pack before we get into the collection, which is going to be pretty fun. All right, let's see. We got the Pinch Hopper. We got the XYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon. We've got a card that I don't know what it is. Oh, I think it's Relinquish Fusion. All right, super rare, and then a regular rare. Okay, we'll take that. I don't remember a lot of the cards, but Relinquish Fusion, nice. We also got one of these, which I think might be a promo card. Oh, it has the Exodia in it. Oh, that's really cool. You just rip it that way and get it out. I kind of want to keep this sealed, though. That's pretty amazing, though. That's really awesome. Okay, nice. Now we get into the commons and rares, which if you don't remember, the legendary Pequeno Moth is in this set. So hopefully it will be a centered Pequeno Moth first edition. We can maybe grade it, okay? You know what I'm saying? Niwatori, that means uh, chicken. I don't know if you've heard that one. Armored Zombie, whoa, check out that armor. Metal Raider says so many good memes. Oh, the legendary Pequeno Moth. Moth. Wait, let's let's see. How's the centering? Centering's looking pretty good on this Pequeno Moth. Uh, yeah, pretty good overall. Let's see the surface. Pretty nice. Okay, and yeah, I said all these cards are faded. By the way, commons are not usually faded, so it's going to be the foils that are going to be faded. So very, wow. Are we going to grade this Pequeno Moth at some point whenever it's not $100 to grade it? I don't know if I want to spend that much, but that's still, I mean, it is the best card ever, so maybe we should grade it for $100. That is Awesome. Good start to this collection. Then we have the Grande Moth. Awesome Lady de Fay, the Lava Battle Guard, the Blast Juggler. Cheerful Cough. I don't really understand. How can you ever be have a coffin and be cheerful? I don't get it. Hey, Sube, the Swamp Battle Guard. We got the Battle Steer. That's a different card. He became a soul release. Genzo number seven. The Genzo that came before the original Genzo, but he also is number seven. So is he a time traveler? I don't understand. He doesn't have flavor text because he actually has an effect. Unfortunately. Robin Goblin. Morin Finn, the ancient Lizard. We got the Crawling Dragon. Guardian of the Labyrinth. Protector of the Three. Throne, okay, which is basically the same as the Invader of the Throne in MRL. Disc Magician, Rainbow Flower, the Canon Soldier, the Stim Pack, Trent. Ah, Mirkwood, the Ents. Get the Fake Trap, Mooka Mooka, Cybersaurus, Destroyer Saurus, Hunter Spider, pretty cool card. Mass Sorcerer, the Bottom Dweller, he dwells in the bottom. Leo Gun, the Jellyfish, Crash Clown, the Baby Dragon, Sangin, the Soggy, the Dark Clown. Rocco Gregrotto, Empress Judge, the Thunder Dragon. This is actually a pretty nice card. Pretty hard to find a nice one of those. Dome of the Angel of Science, Carbonari Attack, Electric Lazard, the Witch's Apprentice, Tongyo, Kojikaze, Cocoon of Evolution, Yadakuru, Deep Sea Shark, Wing, Dragon Guardian of the Fortress, Magician of Faith. We just created a PSA 10 of this. So that's pretty awesome. Oh, there I am. The Pale Beast. Awesome. Ancient Elf, the Bistro Butcher, and the Larvae, the cousin of the Bacanio.
And if you thought that was all the commons and rares, you forgot how big of a set Metal Raiders is. Because check this out. We got Elegant Egos this. We've still got a lot more cards. Harpy Lady. There's like 140-something cards in this set, which is a ton. King of Yami Makai. The Seven Colored Fish, with including the Lips. Don't forget that. Castle of Dark Illusions. Big Eye. The Illusionist. Faceless Mage. Killer Needle. The Armored Lizard. We got the Mask of Darkness. Dark Elf. German. We got a lot of Dark Elves in this collection. Milus Radiant. The White Magical Hat. Block Attack. Blade Fly. Giltia. The D Knight. Which is Black Force. Hoshingen. Okibi. The Unhappy Maiden, we've got Shadow Ghoul, Feral Imp, Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts. All right, very nice. Uh, the Immortal Thunder, Jurai Gumo. Man, there's a lot of cards in this set, guys. It's crazy. Leg Hole, all right, always a weird one. The Skull Knight is a very awesome artwork that a lot of people like. I like it as well. The Dream Clown, the Oguchi, and the Shield and Sword. Punished Eagle, Launcher Spider, Little Chimera. Water Amotics, this is the uh, clean version of the, of the card. Blue Winged Crown, the Star Boy, the Musician King, the Steel Scorpion, Gigatech Wolf, and the Ground Attacker, Bugra. I always call this Burgoth, but uh, someone pointed out it's Bugroth, and I've changed my ways. I know how to say it now. Now that we've gotten through all those crazy comments, let's get to the foil. So we have Faded, Seven Tools of the Bandit. So for the nicer ones, we're going to check out the condition. I think they're all supposed to be minty, so that's pretty cool. So very good start. Seven Tools of the Bandit, the card you never really want to pull out of Metal Raiders. We have a Sangha of the Thunder. Very nice. Okay, centering on this one, a little bit off. Magic Jammer. Wow, that is a very fatal. It almost looks gray. That is incredible. That is an incredible Magic Jammer. That is literally almost no red in that card, which is pretty cool because it's supposed to be a trap card oh mirror force whoa that looks insane oh my gosh look at this look at this card guys it's supposed to be red and by the way this is not like sun fading this is a factory error because a lot of people think that it's just you put it in the sun and it looks like this but there's a lot of metal raiders cards where the sum of the the red or the the i don't remember the exact ink is not used and so therefore it ends up looking like this or with different levels some are more or less faded but this is a pretty cool one if you actually put it in the sun it looks a little bit different than this wow that's pretty awesome minty looking i don't know how this would grade because like you can see the red up top but you can't see it on a lot of the card which is interesting whoa that is incredible that looks so good oh my goodness a minty faded mirror force next up we have the garnisi elephant as we recently graded a psa 10 in our psa video go check that one out that was an awesome return well it started off pretty rough and then it kind of rebounded to be awesome but it was fun garnisi elephantis psa 10 we have one of those now we have a faded one then we have another one that we graded a psa 10 twin into thunder this is like the least faded one so far it's still a little bit faded though because normally it's pretty dark purple but i would say compared to the others where it's like gray it's not too crazy catapult turtle i've seen a lot of faded catapult turtles it seems like uh, pretty often these are faded still pretty awesome looking card i really like the the shine on the catapult turtle it looks really good we're still waiting on those big cards so we'll see what happens when we get there we got a horn of heaven okay very nice horn of heaven i mean this is the card you absolutely don't want to pull like it's worse than seven tools but still really cool Oh, and a gate guardian. So I do already have one of these that's super faded as a gate guardian. They got a six basically because it was faded, unfortunately, but still a beautiful card. A little bit off center on this one. So I don't know if this is grade worthy after what they did to the first one. But let's check out the condition anyway. Let's see if it's minty like the others. So this one is straight up yellow, which is pretty cool. You love to see that. Uh, centering is not good at all back is pretty nice pretty minty oh yeah this is a sick card gate guardian oh yeah this card can only be special summoned by offering it's the word offering not tributing offering sangha kazujin and suijin on your side of the field as a tribute you have to offer those three all right that's pretty sick uh heavy store what is that okay there's a bunch of junk on here that one's not crazy faded seems like the guy is kind of faded in the artwork that's funny next we have change of heart whoa we are missing part of the name on this one that is losing its name but it's still pretty cool change of heart very beautiful card oh yeah that's a nice one i'm ready for that summon skull to pop up in the b skull then we have the karibo i do have a psa 10 in one of these but it's not faded though so that is a clean looking faded card for sure that's one of the best looking ones i think karibo just looks nice i don't know it's just a nice looking card even though it's just very simple furball i don't know i really like it then there is the Harpy Lady Sisters Faded version. Very nice. So the Harpy Lady Sisters, all three of them there, ready to uh, slice you up with their fangs and stuff and all that fangs. Their claws, I guess. Pretty pretty creepy. They're not very strong. 1950. They kind of did them dirty. Then there is the Bee Skull. We got to check this out. Bee Skull Dragon. Beautiful, beautiful Bee Skull Dragon. This guy is pretty nice. So his name is a little bit, he's not completely gone, but it's a little bit dull. I don't know if that's the word. Yeah, pretty nice. Okay, beautiful, minty. 
Looks awesome. Beast Skull Dragon. Awesome card. Make sure to let me know in the comments your favorite of these faded cards. Because they're a lot different when they're faded compared to the normal version. So I want to know if it changes for you guys. Oh, a Barrel Dragon. Oh, yeah. Barrel Dragon. Very nice. Very cool card. I know a lot of people really like this, including Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh. He's a big fan of this card. Yeah, it's a pretty cool artwork. Pretty nice card. Okay. Still got a few foils to go. Oh, I just grabbed two by accident. We have a Sui Jin. That is nice. We also just graded one of these at PSA 10, which is pretty sick. All right, faded. And then, of course, the next one was Kazi Jin. So we already saw the Sangha. We have to offer these guys to get the Gate Guardian out. But those guys look amazing and faded as well. The next one is, oh my goodness, another gray card, Solemn Judgment. This Solemn is literally gray. That is incredible. That is so awesome. Beautiful, minty, solemn judgment. Wow, it doesn't even look close to red. Like, they were completely out at this point. Just a couple more cards left. We got Tribute to the Doomed. Oh, man, yeah. The creepy artwork. Yeah, that's the super you probably don't want to pull. Still a cool card. Then we have Thousand Dragon, the other secret rare. That's beautiful. Secret rare, Thousand Dragon. This is still a card. This and Gate Guardian, I don't have a PSA 10, which is unfortunate, but still very cool cards. All right, nice, nice. Two more to go. Oh, Time Wizard, the Time Wizard. Wow, that's a sick card. That card's centered too. Okay, let's check it out. This guy looks pretty clean. What is that right there? It has something going on right there. I don't, uh, it looks like water. Is that printed into the card? That's crazy. What is that? I don't know what that is. It's like water or something. It looks like water. That is wild. I don't know what that is. Unfortunately, that is on the front of the card. So maybe not gradable anymore. Okay, but still a beautiful card. Yeah, it's minty besides that too. What a bummer. What is that? It looks like water. That's crazy. What is that? Unfortunately, the Time Wizard has something on the front. I don't know what it is, but it's still beautiful. And the final card of the collection. Summoned Skull. Beautiful. Look at this centered card. We got to check this one out too. Hopefully no weird water damage. Front of this guy looks incredible. Yeah, that looks incredible. Back looks incredible. That's a beautiful looking Summon Skull. Very nice. Faded. This is such an amazing card. All right. That's a good way to end it, guys. That is incredible. Let me know what you guys think about the collection in the comments. Do you prefer regular or faded cards? Make sure to let me know. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Stone Flow Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Bimmy Gecko, Daxter, Emusa, Junior Barding, Anana Show, JT Cho, and Animal of the Hallowed. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.